Parko City is located in Urasoe City, just 15 minutes away from Naha Airport. It's quite literally just a few feet from Camp Kinzer and borders right on the East China Sea, making many of the views in the mall quite amazing. Parking is mostly indoors with a slightly complicated layout, so be sure to remember where you park right before you head on in. Parko City is part of the biggest supermarket chain in Okinawa, which is Sané, and one of many malls located throughout the island. What makes Parko City stand out is that it has features that appeal to both tourists and locals, not to mention that it has more stores than the other super-sized mall, Raikon Mall, in Kitanakagusuku. Here at Parko City, you will encounter flares of Okinawa here and there, like this amazing Lego display of Shuri Castle and the Whale Shark, and a shisa made entirely of denim. Even half of the first floor is dedicated to Okinawan delicacies, clothing, and souvenirs, making Parko City a great one-stop shop for all things Okinawa. Now what the mall has to offer in terms of shopping, it is quite comparable to Raikon Mall and the other Sané malls. You'll find a huge variety of boutique stores ranging from clothing, accessories, stationery, and more. While Parko City has the most storefronts, it does feel more crowded and small than the Raikou Ma. But don't let that deter you because Parko City boasts many first in Okinawa stores like NYX Cosmetics and clothing retailer Zara and has the bigger of the two H&M stores on island. There is even a Korean beauty store featuring many of the most popular brands like 3CE, Dr. Jart, and Innisfree to name a few. I've also noticed more stores that appeal to the younger child like this Lego store here that offers hands-on experiences, a bigger variety of clothing boutiques, and my daughter's favorite, the Calico Critters specialty store. She got to add a family car to her growing collection at home. Besides shopping, your kids can get all their energy out at the VR zone, arcade, or the playground, though you do need to pay to get in, unfortunately. In addition to the boutique stores, Parko City carries the San A brand merchandise, which includes clothing, toys, baby goods, and miscellaneous accessories. On the first floor, there is a huge Japanese cosmetics and skincare department where you'll find many of your favorite drugstore and high-end brands. And right across from the beauty department is the Sané supermarket where many locals get their groceries and buy freshly prepared hot foods. On the topic of food, the food scene at Parko City does not disappoint. There are food courts on the first and second floors and many sit-down restaurants spanning all three levels. My favorite part of the dining scene is of course the beautiful view of the ocean visitors can experience while they dine. It is no accident that the mall was designed with this in mind. While all the unique dining experiences and options at Parco City do warrant a separate video, I did want to shine the spotlight on the two places I frequented more than twice during my 10-day stay. First up is Gongcha, which is a popular bubble tea chain based in Taiwan and now in over 10 countries. The menu does look overwhelming, so the wait in line did come to an advantage when deciding what to order. I did appreciate the options and the ability to customize the sweetness and amount of ice for each drink. The matcha bubble tea I got was ridiculously delicious and the chewiness of the tapioca pearls were done just right. A cool feature I should mention is that you get double points on your awards card on rainy days, which just so happened to be every day I was in Okinawa. Next, we got the Little Mermaid Bakery, which offers fresh bread and pastries and is now my most favorite bakery on island, with the sweet potato tart, sweet bean pastry, and Danish bread being my go-to whenever I went. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick look at Parko City San A. I hope I encouraged you to go check this mall out. And before you go, here is one more tip. If you were to go any time of the day, do go right before sunset to catch some amazing views of the ocean. All right, let me know in the comment section what you thought of Parko City. And don't forget to check out my other videos centering around Okinawa and do subscribe for more to come. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.